Hey there, Grantie, I hope you are doing great. First off, as you know, I have great timing with my videos. The guy across the road just decided to pull out his whippersnipper, and so there's a bit of background noise, but look, I wanna shoot this video for you regardless. I received a question from Angelica. Give me a second. And Angelica asks, hey Grant, so right now my goal is to increase my strength. I love the powerlifting movements such as squats and deadlifts. However, I've had my breast done and the barbell bench press just doesn't feel right when I perform the movement. Is there any other exercise I can do to increase my pressing strength? So look, great question and it is quite common. Many girls who have had their breasts done have complained about the bench press not feeling right. So you're not alone. Now if you think about it, or if you take your hand, you put it on your chest right now and you perform the bench press movement, you can feel how your chest can go through a full lengthened position to a maximum contraction position. And then you take an implant, put it on top of that, I can understand how it would feel very weird. So look, there is an exercise you can uh, replace for the bench press, but I need to let you know that it's not going to really increase your bench press strength. The best way to increase your bench press is to bench press. With that being said, there is an exercise you can do, and that is the barbell military press. So if you take your hand once again, place it on your chest, and you perform the barbell military press movement, you can feel how there's nowhere near of a contraction of what you get with the bench press. There's a little bit of contraction up near the collarbone with the chest, but it's again, nowhere near what you get with the bench press. So I truly believe that this will be a far better movement for you can do. In fact, I have had some clients, some girls who've had their breasts done, and with this very issue, that's what we did, and there was no problem. So there was only one case where the girl still just didn't feel right. I'm not, and again, I'm not 100% sure why. Maybe they were too big, I'm not sure, but we've had a pretty good success rate with, with this exercise. Now, how you treat it is exactly like the bench press. So you sub out the bench press, you put the military press in place and treat it in terms of the programming, the sets and reps, exactly like the bench press. In fact, back in the day, we're talking 50, 60 years ago, before the bench press was the staple pressing movement, the military press was actually the number one go-to exercise simply because bench presses weren't, or benches weren't invented. So back in the day, they used to simply just deadlift the bar, clean it up, and then just perform the military press and then just put the bar on the ground. And that was their sets. That's what they did for their pressing strength. So don't feel like you're, uh, you're not going to achieve uh, the greatest results with the barbell and the military press, because like I said, back in the day, it was the go-to exercise before the benches were invented. So there you go. Sub out the bench press, replace with the military press, and you'll be fine. So I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. Now, I have a private Facebook group for Girls Who Lift. It's actually called that, Girls Who Lift with Grant, where we simply you know, have many conversations just like this in the group. If you would like to be a part of the group completely free, what I'll do is I'll leave a link in the comment section on this video. Finally, the guy took a break. Um, I'll leave a link in the comment section on this video, and if you can't find it, just shoot me a private message with the words Facebook group, and I'll shoot you a link so you can join the group. Apart from that, thank you for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.